everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hi lovely Libra, this is your forecast for August and it's going to be a really powerful one. We've got that August new moon solar eclipse which is going to be extremely powerful and for you the change is all happening in your, uh, where are we, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11th house, okay, right, so yes, because we've got this lunar, sorry, this solar eclipse, it's very much about change. It's very much about where do you need to make changes in your life that will help you to move forward. And for you, it's the 11th house, so it's very much about your sense of community, your sense of belonging, where do you belong, which groups do you belong with, who are you, where are you going, and, and do the groups and the people around you support you in um being who you are to the highest degree. So you will be looking at where you live even as it relates to that. You will be looking at where you go to work and who you're working with as it relates to that. You'll be looking at hobbies, you'll be looking at interactions that you have um, on a daily basis as long as they connect with groups of people. And you're going to be asking yourself which ones of these are really pointing you in the direction of being happy, feeling that you can express love and express yourself at the highest um, creative expression because that's what Leo is all about. So where you need to make changes, you're going to need to be thinking about making them um, as soon as possible because it's a very, very powerful energy. And what you need to be able to do to harness that energy is once you've decided how those changes will look is to work on visualizing them and manifesting. So I've put a link, or hopefully I'll remember to put a link to this manifesting uh, meditation, to my manifesting meditation 
um, on this video so that you can use it to visualize what you're, where you're going, what you want to create. So, for you, you would also have one, two, three, four, five, the fifth house would be pulling. There'd be a bit of a tension there in terms of what you need to let go of. So letting go of things uh, to do with creativity and to do with love and all those Leo energies, letting go of the things that are not really um, serving you anymore so that you can feel um, yourself moving into the right groups, the right situations, um, the right circumstances that feel really good and that allow you to really be yourself. So let's just see what the cards will add to that. So, stop. So we've got past, present, future, advice and outcome. Okay, so I forgot to put the timer on, so it's probably going to go over again. Okay, so we've got, um, in the past, you've come through a phase where you've had to pay a lot of attention to the body. For a lot of Librans, there will have been a period of purification, there will have been a period of changing things in terms of diet and nutrition. The card actually says, pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. This also relates to energy. Pay attention to the energy that you imbibe. Pay attention to what you take in all the time. What you take in mentally, what you take in physically, what you take in emotionally, what you take in energetically. So just, it's been very much a period of refining. You might have been on one of these diets where you exclude lots of allergens and then bring them back in one by one to see what, what irritates you. That's the sort of thing that I'm seeing because it sort of goes hand in hand with, it feels as if you've been doing purifying and sifting and sorting of various things in various areas. So diet and nutrition is not just about what you take into the body in terms of food. It's also in terms of what we take in through other circumstances, through our skin, through our eyes, what we look at every day, through our ears, what we're hearing, you know, who touches our skin, where we where we walk and whether we're able to breathe in good air, you know, that's some people live on air, well, allegedly. So, you know, it's all nutrition. So do you like, are you satisfied, to quote Bob Marley, with the life you're living? Are you satisfied with, um, where that you belong where you are and with what you're currently experiencing so that's where you've been you are at the moment in a place of receiving healing you've got the god of spiritual healing so you're receiving a lot from the angels a lot from the divine you're also doing some self-healing it's possible that you're doing some kind of practices that will help you to heal heal body mind heart spirit soul and all of this could be, for some Librans, it will be that you've had to do this healing as a result of the environment that you're in, as a result of the community that you're in, the groups of people, or a group, maybe in a work situation that has been stressful, something that you've had to sort of really feel like for some it's been very, very kind of stressful on the whole system and you're kind of coming through this and that's helped to bring you to this decision where you have to embrace the new now. And this is what these eclipses tend to do, the, the solar eclipses, they tend to ask you to jump into the new. So if you've got an idea about something that you need to try, somewhere that you need to leap, then it's you're being asked to leap for the sake of your body. You've got two cards here that relate to the health of the body. So, you know, it's time really to be at least thinking about it and laying the foundations is what I'm hearing. Laying the tracks, you know, thinking ahead and because you know you need to feel secure that it's it's okay. So just start, you know, thinking about it and, and putting some steps into action. Future. Angel of soul love. Time to look at how you value yourself. <laughs> Issues of self-love. So we've had three 
I think it's about three signs that have had that this month. And, you know, Leo is about love. And sometimes that is self-love because it's also about creativity. So it can be about whether we love ourselves enough to be creative and to be that happy. You know, when we have a creative gift or something that brings us a lot of joy, sometimes we, we can say, can I really allow myself to be that happy, that that is what I do with most of my time? Well, you're being asked to really, you know, we're all being asked at this time to trust that yes, we do deserve to be that happy. And with you, it's going to be a question of, do I deserve to be that happy in my community, in my sense of belonging? So it's possible that you've seen another place or another environment or a group of people or a thing, a tribe that you want to move towards either in work or in your living space or in friendships or something. That's not to say that all the old ones just get ditched but you know you might be wanting to try something new like maybe I belong in you know a Buddhist community or maybe I belong in um, I don't know in a community of of artists, painters, maybe I belong in a community of healers, maybe I should be trying a dance class, maybe I belong with dancers, maybe I belong with teachers, maybe I, you know, something, it's about your culture that needs to fundamentally shift. Am I happy being surrounded by this particular type of people? Might I feel more nourished um, and supported being around people who are a little bit more easygoing or a little bit more um, fun or the opposite, people who are a little bit more um, serious. Do I need to be around people who just take things a bit more seriously now? Maybe it's a spiritual community. Maybe you've been hanging out with people who like to go out and drink and hang out in bars and you're having this awakening. And, you know, sometimes when we have a stress or a pressure in... Um, a work environment or something like that, it can be the thing that leads to a spiritual awakening. So maybe you're awakening and you're beginning to say, no, I can't love and value myself in that culture. I need to find a culture that more suits who I am now, who I'm becoming. So, and that culture could be a relationship culture as well, where you have, you know, a relationship and you have a group of friends and it's not quite, something's not quite gelling and you just need to sort of go inside and connect with who you really are now, who you really feel yourself to be. It might just be that you want to try some new hobbies out and that they are going to lead the way to a whole new way of seeing things, a whole new group of people and a whole new way of seeing things. So your advice from the universe with regard to this is, okay, angel of shadows, goddess of shadows, it says, what you perceive to be your dark side holds hidden treasure. So for you Librans, for a lot of Librans, the dark side is indecision or it can be... Um, that this indecision comes from sensitivity, that you can see all sides, that you can feel all possibilities, you can feel what everyone else is feeling, so it's like, oh my God, which way do I go? I don't want to upset that person, I don't want to upset that person. But actually, what that's done is that's taught you how to get a greater sense of fairness overall, a greater sense of, you know, compromise, how to compromise, and how to make sure that everyone, including yourself, kind of gets what they want. So that could help you in this new phase. Where is the community or the group of people? Where are your peeps that are very much about fairness and balance and win-win situations where everyone gets what they want? Where is it easy going for you to be? Okay, Librans are obsessed with easy going. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is. Where are you going with all of this? God of the underworld, something which no longer serves you is about to end. So it definitely looks as if for a lot of Librans you're going to be moving out of a culture. Um, for, for a lot it will be a work culture, I feel that quite strongly. And for some it will be a home culture, a family culture, or a, you know, a whatever, friendship culture, a relationship culture. Trust what you feel. Trust what you feel that, you know, if it's not right, it's just not right. Okay, let's go for Where are we going, guys? Turquoise. And right here for your um, angel card reading. Okay. And the message is judgment. It says, let go of your fear of being judged. <laughs> you are good enough. Okay, so that's another thing for Librans. That's another reason that you're always trying to 
you're get, you get indecisive that you don't want to let anyone down and you don't want to be judged. Okay, it's time to unlock all that you have kept safely locked away in your heart. You are, sorry, your true essence and potential have been restricted by structure and method for long enough. Okay, so that definitely sounds as if it could be a workplace that has become a little bit restrictive. Okay, um, there is no right or wrong way, just be you. So for those of you who are not experiencing any of this in work, you're really, really happy with your work, or you're not working, or any of those things, just accept that the messages that come through, come through for the people who really need to hear that particular message. And if it's not a message for you in that respect, there is definitely something, you know, if it's not about work, it is about some kind of culture or group or belonging situation where you need to look further afield, where you need to start challenging yourself a little bit. Go outside of your comfort zone and, and follow what you love. That's the message of Leo, follow what you love. Um, to find your peeps, to find your tribe, to find what you really, really feel good about. Okay, so I think that's it, uh, Libra. Um, have a fantastic August and I will see you in September. Take care. Bye.